Hi, welcome back to uh, the Beekeepers Daily. Uh, this week again, we're carrying on the theme of queen rearing. So today we're going to be taking a look at banking queens. What is banking queens? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put multiple queens into one queenless hive. And that way we can keep them there for a good few weeks. We've even experimented and we've kept queens in a queen bank all winter long. As long as there's enough bees in there, you can keep them in all winter long. There is some talk about the queen's feet getting nibbled and the not being such a great queen when they come out. To be quite honest, we've never actually found a problem uh, with having a queen bank for a long period. But ideally, you don't want to keep them in there for more than a couple of weeks. There is many ways that you can keep queens in. Uh, one way is to make yourself a frame up like this, a uh, small arm on it that uh, will hold the cages in place and we're just using these small Nicot style yellow cages uh, to keep the queens in. We don't put any food in. Uh, what we do tend to do though is we'll block up part of this hole because we don't want the queens going down and hiding because what you can find is they do go down into this feeder space below they can, uh, they can hang out and, and literally starve themselves to death down there rather than coming up and getting fed by uh, the bees up above. What you've got to remember, the shy girls, uh, there's lots of strangers all trying to feed them through the cages uh, as they beg for food. So you, as I say, you don't want them starving to death down below. So these are simple to make. Uh, all you do instead of putting a sheet of foundation in, you put a thin sheet of plywood in and you can make these double sided. So this is a Langstroth frame, uh, for example. So you should be able to store 44 of these cages in that frame. You can also buy these nursery cages. Uh, I do believe Thorns uh, sell these for about 20 some pounds. I will very probably put a link up there for these. And it's a small block of wood uh, with the centre drill down, mesh on the front, a small wooden plug on top, and look, one, two, three, these will hold one, two, three, four, five, six, fourteen uh, in there. You can also use the roller cages system and fasten those to a just a, a foundationless uh, frame and pop these in there. So, as I said, it wants to be a queenless hive or nook. Uh, you can use a nook box. The simplest way to do it is, if you remember what we did for the cell starter, you just change the configuration around slightly and you could use that cell starter as a queen bank and just pop in a, a favourite boot now and again. So we'll just quickly go through uh, the configuration for that. So if you remember the configuration for the cell starter where we'd put the, uh, the grass into there, all we've done is we've changed the positions of the honey and the pollen around. It's not as important to have pollen in these hives as it was when we were using the, the cells. Uh, the cells needed lots and lots of pollen for the young bees to produce wild jelly. But if we have a look at this, so we've got a sheet foundation because Again, we want a sheet foundation in there because we don't want them building comb around the queen cages. If they don't have somewhere to work on, they will build comb around the queen cages. If they build too much comb, they won't be able to feed the queens and the queens will starve to death in the cages. So we've got a sheet foundation, pollen, which is a mix of pollen and honey in there. A brood frame, we've got a queen bank down the centre, a brood frame, and a honey frame. This is a national one that we've done. So that's our national queen bank uh, that we've made up, the same as the line trough that I showed you earlier. And you're gonna get on there, you're gonna get 36 queens in this queen bank. 
whether you've used up all your queens or you've finished with your queen bank all you've got to do is take one of these queens if it's a major queen or if it's a virgin queen take one of those queens pop it in there in between two frames of brood uh, just like you're doing when you're introducing a new queen if you don't know how to introduce a new queen don't worry about it we're going to cover that this summer in the videos when we're actually working with the bees how to requeen a, a hive but leave that last queen in there and then this can be turned back into a, a product productive nook again and that will have a winter just fine and then you can remove that queen use the same box again next year as either a queen bank or a cell starter so you're not going to waste any resources and that's the important thing in raising queens is being sustainable so you're not going to waste any resources you're not going to waste any bees raising queens you're not going to waste any hives or nooks or frames you everything's going to be reused and repurposed and continue to be productive when it comes to bees and queens.